Hello friends. So welcome to my channel, Dr. Sunil Vans Chemistry School. And today uh, we are again came with a second part of our organic reactions and catalysis. Today we are going to discuss about few unique reactions involve organic chemistry, namely oxidative addition, reductive elimination, insertion reactions, and beta hydride eliminations. These four reactions are very much involved in maximum catalytic cycles. So it is very needed to explain these things a little bit details. Now in a comparison, if I look at all the reactions, basically oxidative additions and reductive elimination changes the condition number of the metal as well as it also changes the formal oxidation state. The oxidative base addition increases the coordination number as well as it increases the positive oxidation state. That means it oxidizes the metal center by two units. Whereas the reductive elimination is exactly the opposite of oxidative addition. That means in case of reductive elimination, the coordination number decreased by two units as well as the metal reduced by two units. Whereas in case of insertion reactions and hydrogen elimination reactions, the metal coordination environment as well as the formal oxidation state remains unchanged. Now if I come to the oxidative addition, so basically oxidative addition means when a metal complex is exposed to a bimolecules, either homogeneous or diatomic molecules or polar molecules, it split and undergo a oxidative addition where the individual atoms or species attached at the anionic ligands with the metal. That means the ox uh, coordination environment of the metal increased by two unit as well as it oxidized the metal by two unit. Right. For example, a rhodium plus one complexes when undergo a oxidative addition with hydrogen molecules, the two hydrogen atom split and attached to the metal as a hydrides. So here the coordination environment increased by additional two units as well as the oxidation state of metal increased by the two units. Now if I consider that which type of complexes basically will be suitable for the oxidative additions, therefore it is necessary to say that since the oxidative addition leads the increase of coordination number, therefore the metal complex should have such space for occupy. That means coordinately should be unsaturated. The second one, it getting oxidized. Therefore, the metal should be at its lowest oxidation state or at lower oxidation state. And there should be, should, should be available of uh, proper symmetric non-bonding electron pairs or orbital to interact with the substrate. And the metal should have the two oxidation state, which are two units apart. And the higher oxidation state should be energetically accessible. Otherwise, it is difficult to oxidize that one. Right. Then if I take an example, because the square planar D8 system are very much perfect for oxidative addition. So we have taken a complex of iridium, which have a square planar geometry with 16 electron at its periphery. And this is electron counting methods we have already discussed in another video. If you are interested, you can go through the electron counting method of organic complexes to find out how to calculate the electrons around the metal center. Now, when these complexes is susceptible to go for oxidative additions with di homonuclear systems or heteronuclear systems, it pursue to the oxidative additions where the oxidation state increases as well as the coordination number increases from 4 to 6. However, the atoms in the substrate can be joined in the cis or trans depending upon 
the mechanism involved. These oxidative reticents usually are uh, involved in many catalytic cycles. We have given a few examples where the oxidative reticents are takes place in the first step to initiate the catalytic processes. For example, in Wilkinson catalysis, which utilized for the hydrogenation of alkene. Now the rhodium complexes of square planar rhodium one undergo a oxidative additions with hydrogen to include hydride. Whereas in Monsanto acetic acid synthesis, the rhodium complexes takes up methyl iodide in its coordination sphere through splitting of this bond. And the speed or the kinetics of these reactions totally depends upon the electron density in the metal center. More the electron density, faster will be the reactions. This oxidative additions also utilize for activation of several unreactive hydrocarbons. For example, when an alkyl or alkene group is reacted with a metal complexes which have unsaturation both electronically and as well as uh, coordinately it bounds through a tri centered mechanism and ultimately the ch bond splits and attached in a fashion of oxidative additions and same things also happens when some aromatic rings are also closer to the unsaturated metals it also can activate the aromatic protons and it splits the aromatic CH bond. That's this oxidative additions also sometimes acts as a activation for CH bond of alkene or aromatic rings. Now, if I come to the another important reactions, what is known as reductive eliminations, which is just exactly opposite to the oxidative addition. That means in this case, a metal complexes with higher coordination number and with high oxidation state undergo a reductive eliminations or a molecules is going out from the complex and lacking behind the coordination sphere of the complex reduced and also the oxidation state of the metal ion reduced. So both formal oxidation state as well as the coordination number decreased by two units. And in this case, basically the ligands which are attached to the cis position, they are usually get interacted with each other and they get eliminated. So the cis position is very essential. And if I come to the requirement parts, definitely the high formal positive charge on the metal ions is one of the primary requirement because it will undergo a reductive process. The presence of bulky ligands will obviously push towards the much more relieved part. That means if the coordination sphere get reduced, it will be sterically relieved position. And electronically this product, organic product which is coming out from the metal complex should be highly stable. Then only they will interact each other and come out from the complexes. This reductive elimination also takes part in various catalytic cycles, particularly in the final step when some valuable organic components is coming out from the catalytic cycles. For example, in the hydroformylation, this keto bonds is formed and an aldehyde is coming out from the coordination sphere and thus reduce the coordination number as well as oxidation state. Similarly, in Monsanto acetic acid synthesis process, a acyl allyl is coming out, leaving the coordination sphere as well as the oxidation state down for this complexes. That means this reductive elimination ultimately allow the liberation of these valuable organic components from the complexes during the catalytic processes. Now we are coming to the insertion reactions. As the term itself is saying that some things is get inserted. Insertion means here the one of the ligand attached to the metal complexes 
it getting inserted in between another metal ligand bond so basically insertion means the migration of one group into the metal ligand bond of another one in this case the metal oxidation state remains unchanged all things happens one of the ligand inserted in between metal ligand bond and the vacant coordination site which is created after the migration of one group will be occupied by another incoming ligands right so therefore a vacant coordination site which is generated which will be which need to be occupied otherwise the opposite reactions or reverse reaction will be facilitated and the group which is basically ceased to the ligand that is only going to be inserted the trans one is far away to be inserted for example if these complexes a carbonyl complex or a carbonyl ceased to the methyl group will get inserted in between this one right but however it seems like that carbonyl may be inserted but basically the mechanism involved that the methyl group is migrated inside the carbonyl and that's what a acyl bond is formed but the migration should be at the cis position and the vacant position is occupied by the incoming the insertion reactions basically happens in the way one 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 insertion that means during the insertion process the metal and the inserted ligand coordinated to the single atom that means in this case if ab is bound to the metal ion then the inserted ligand that means x as well as metal both are after the migrations bound to the same atom a so in this case the same atom is bound to both of these one that's what called one one insertion right for example in case of the carbonyl carbon bound to both metal and the alkyl group however one to insertion also can happen particularly whenever there is a alkene type or alkyne type of complexes pi complex bounds with the metal ion in that time the migrated group bound to one part whereas metal bound to the second part for example in this case x binds to the b group and metal binds to the a and thus it get reduced and form a saturation that means unsaturated complex become saturated complex for example in this case the two carbon in the double bond is bound to the two different way one carbon bound to the metal the second one bound to the migrated hydrates group the migrations also part of several catalytic process particularly in the middle part several times for example in the hydroformylation the alkyl group when bound to the metal center the carbonyl group inserted in between that one and form a formal bonds similarly in the alkyne alkene hydrogenations when alkene pi complex bound to the metal and hydrides which are cis to this one that get migrated here as a one to migratory insertion process now come to the last one beta hydrogen eliminations although this uh, looks similar like eliminations but it have a little bit difference from the reductive eliminations in terms in case of the reductive eliminations a molecule is going to be detached from the metal center as well as the metal center get reduced but in case of the beta hydride eliminations neither molecule is going out from the metal center nor the metal get reduced for example a alkene which have a beta hydrogen if this hydrogen is close to the metal ion then metal hydrogen interactions ultimately leads to the bond migration and this hydrogen will attach to the metal center and this bond alkene bond becomes the alkene that means the oxidation of this alkene happens through this beta hydrogen migrations and the mechanism of this part is involved the four centered interactions between the metal and substrate whereas hydride is also involved right so in this case the beta presence of beta hydrogen is very essential part right without beta hydrogen the beta hydride eliminations cannot be possible for example in case of the methane beta hydrogen elimination is not possible but for the ethane or propane beta hydrogen eliminations can be feasible now comes to a very 
practical uh, examples of a catalytic cycle. So let's take this example, the hydrogenation of an alkene. Basically, this is an uh, Wilkinson catalyst where rhodium a complex of triphosphine is involved. In the first step, to open up the metal center for the substrate uh, interactions, a dissociation takes place. And this dissociation takes place because of the bulkiness of the three phosphine attached with this one. That means the bulkier phosphine allow the dissociation easier and that's what a open metal center is created. In the second step, a hydrogen molecule undergo oxidative additions. Right, but still the open metal center is retains for the attraction of alkene. And this alkene attraction was increased because of this oxidation. That means the oxidative addition ultimately leads to the oxidation of this metal and higher metallic charge involve the much more better interactions with the pi electrons and that's what alkene attached. In the third step, the hydride get inserted in the alkene through one to migratory insertion process and get reduced to the alkene. And the last step, the ortho or uh, cis hydride get transferred here and uh, it get eliminated through reductive eliminations and we are getting the hydrogenated alkene product whereas the catalyst again regained for the next cycle. Therefore, we can easily visualize that all the reactions we have so far learned, whether it is dissociation, oxidative additions, or migratory insertions, reductive eliminations, together plays a vital role in entire catalytic cycle to produce the valuable organic components we are coming out from the catalytic cycles. So with that one, thanks. If you really like this video, please subscribe my channel, Dr. Sunil Bans Chemistry School. And please don't forget to press the bell icons to get the prompt update. Even if you have any queries or suggestion, please email me suniban.chemistry at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you. Thank you very much.